I'll have a double chocolate and a sugar-free caramel for me. Hey everybody, I'm Bobby Flay. This summer, I've teamed up with Hellman's for the Real Food Project. It's really tricky to find something that everyone in the family will enjoy. We're going to make pimento cheese bacon burgers today. The idea is to really get people to eat the same thing at the family table. We're going to take a little bit of cayenne and then put maybe half of those pimentos right into the mayonnaise. Smells pretty good, huh? These are beautiful. Give it a try. It's like the summertime barbecue recipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> I can do this anytime I want at home. I know exactly the areas yeah. that need it the most, and I can adjust the settings so that I can have as much suction as I need. And I think the first use, it paid for itself. Honey, honey, make sure you get those school supplies you need and a birthday gift for your sister. Planned spontaneity. Planned spontaneity. Planned spontaneity. Isn't that funny? It sounds like an oxymoron, but when you get to this stage of life, you almost have yeah. to plan your spontaneity or you'll never do okay, anything. I'm totally doing that. When I get off the phone, I'm going to tear up a bunch of things in a little piece of paper <laughs> and stick them in a drawer. Here's some money for that top you were looking for. This goes right here, doesn't it? No? Okay. <laughs> and I'm joined by the delightful Susie. Thank Here you go. You. Now, we were just talking about how to host the perfect party. You know, and this is just roasted chicken. I've taken away the skin and the bones and just left with this beautiful chicken meat. That's healthy. It's good. Yeah. Good for you. You like it spicy? I do. I like it really spicy. You do? I okay. do. So, now what you do is you just kind of, you know, twist it around a little bit and just make sure that it's moving around. You don't want it just to sit there in case it burns. Oh, okay. The whole key to being a good host is to have your guests think that you spent a lot of time in the kitchen when you didn't. <laughs> Love that. So. All right. Let's see whether they're any good. Bon appetit. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I forgot. Mm. There's one rule in this kitchen. Whenever I cook, you have to clean. Are you joking? I cook, you clean. So it goes. Oh. oh, what's this? Um, this is core guard, which resists damage against spills and leaks. But it's not going to help you with the mess that we made cooking the quesadillas. All right, one time. I love that rule. Sorry, guys, I couldn't make it to the ATM last night. But don't worry, I rummaged through your dad's coin jar. This should cover lunch today. Yeah. Being a mom to three kids is a full-time job and then some. That's not all I do. I actually am a writer. I have a blog, Secrets of a Suburban Soccer Mom, where I get to basically vent about all the crazy chaos that goes on in my life. I'm always rushing. Um, if I'm not rushing, you better check my pulse. Um, crazy for me means that my alarm goes off at 6 o'clock in the morning. I run into the kitchen and start the whole big crazy process of making breakfast and lunch at the same time. The three kids usually don't want to eat the same thing. Of course not, that would make my life too easy, right? And then um, lunch is usually same situation. It's just a lot of brain work for very early in the morning. That's why I make the coffee first. Nutrition IQ is amazing. This is something that I, I didn't even know about it. And then, um, you know, I was walking through the grocery store and bam, there's a green sign. Apparently, um, some of my legwork has been done for me. They have gone through everything in the grocery store for me. Well, for everybody, but I feel like it's for me.